Hey everybody, it's Cassie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel for another video. Today I have something a little different. It's just a haul video. I haven't had a uh, chance to really film too much outside of any real obligations. So, because uh, I've, you know, got family in town and uh, as you all know, family should be number one. So that's why videos have been a little sporadic and today we're just gonna do a haul. And this is just stuff I've accumulated over the last like month and a half and actually haven't had a chance to play with. So I wanna show you some of these things um, and then also know that that's part of the reason if you've commented lately and I haven't had a chance, I've read everything, I just wanna be able to go back and either respond or really pay attention. So I'm paying attention to what y'all are saying. I'm just, I got family in town. All right, so let's jump into and I'm still waiting on the others, but I got the Distress Mica Stains. I know these aren't new and very few places have these left. My hope is that Tim Holtz will just go ahead and decide to make these just part of a you know normal release, but eh, so far as I know, these, are, these might just be um, limited edition. At least they are for now. Hopefully they change their minds, but this is the Halloween ones. These were the Bubbling Cauldron, Crooked Broom and Hocus Pocus. Then we have Jack-O-Lantern, Empty Tomb, and Flickering Candle. And these are the Distress Mica Stains. I'm super excited to give these a try. I got these from the Trinity Stamps store. As far as I know, they still have a few in the store. I'll have them linked down below and anywhere else I might be able to find them. But if you have been looking and haven't been able to find them, they might still have some. Um, so I did get those, and then on top of that, I went ahead and got the texture set. This is the Grave Texture Paste and the Crypt Grit Paste. And I, I love the names. Obviously, I'm probably going to end up using these things for other things just than that. But these are the smaller little ones. I think in the Trinity Stamp Store, she not only had this, but she may have had the bigger ones. So um, I'll have those linked down below also. I went ahead and also got this from the Trinity Stamp Store. This is the Stitched... Uh, stitched wins and this goes with a stencil it goes with this stencil and there's also a stamp set that goes with it and it's a fall stencil with some leaves and it's or a fall stamp with some leaves and it's gorgeous but I loved this and so um, had to get my hands on it so I went ahead and got that as well and then she's so great she's um, I went ahead and purchased the prize ribbon distress spray stain because I've been loving my spray stains and then also the salvaged patina. She, I think, still has some of these in the store along with some of the other new ones. And then I got the handmade holiday embellishments because Christmas is coming. And I don't know if you can see that. But it's little clay pieces. There's little snowmen. You've got, like, little trees and little, like, sprinkles. So really stoked about that. And then I also got some glossy accents. And she's so cute. She always throws in, like, waffles and tea. And then I did get this die, which I don't have. This is just a little thank you. This is the number four in the like series of, of dies that she has. And they're little tea, they're little uh, tea dies, like little teacup dies. So that's a bunch of stuff I got from Trinity. And then, like I said, I'll have it linked down below. And like I said, with these anywhere else, I might be able to find them. I will list that also. I did get some stuff from Simon Says Stamp. Now, I got this stuff before Stamp Timber, so all this stuff was on sale, probably, who knows, even knows if it's available anymore, but um, Simon Says Stamp. I have never owned any Colorado Craft Company before, but they're so stinking cute. This one is called Spoonful of Sugar, and I did the matching die because it was so cute and pretty affordable, so it's got a little mouse, and there's sugar cubes, just a spoonful of sugar, and we have helps the medicine go down, hope you're feeling better soon. The key to juggling life is to do it with grace, and you do it so well. I just thought that little mouse was absolutely adorable. And then I know this is a little bit more of a summer set, and I think there's a matching die, but I didn't get that. And this one's called Recharge. So rest is good, and we've got a little cat fishing. We've got Recharge. There's always time for one more cast. And join these lazy, Hazy days of summer. Well, obviously summer's about over, so I probably won't use that sentiment too much. Hope you are too. And then enjoy your day and this little cat hanging out in a hammock under the trees. You could easily make this a fall card if you wanted or spring. Um, so I liked that. And then this other one, oh my gosh. This one is called Playtime. And look at the mice, they're just so cute. And the sentiments are what got me. So here they are playing with their tea 
their tea bags and some sugar cubes. Down here, they're playing with makeup. <laughs> they're using the eyelashes as hair. You can't buy happiness, but you can buy tea, and that's sort of the same thing. I mean, y'all know how I feel about tea. Happy girls are the prettiest. A uh, quote by Audrey Hepburn. I hope you feel beautiful today and wake up and make up. How cute. And then I had to get this one. And I think this is last year's release. No peeking. Do not open before Christmas, especially for you, and no peeking. With a kitty in a bag. And I did get the matching die, but I thought this would be fun for tags and stuff. Or even cards. And it looks like this one is the no peeking die. So not only does it cut out your cat, but you also have no peeking. It cuts that one out. Okay, so then this one was on sale. Don't know if this is still available, but it was the stamps. Did I get the matching dies? I think I did. Yes, I did get the matching dies because they were on sale. Um, and this is Christmas kittens because, you know, I love the cats. And the dies cut out all the kittens and this heart, but our sentiments are happy holidays, wishing you the warmest holiday ever. Since I can't hug you at Christmas, I hope this will do. All I want for Christmas is to be near you, sending holiday smiles, Merry Christmas, missing you at Christmas, meowy Christmas, and wishing you joy. And, oh, can you imagine me doing those up like the boys? Oh, some cute little Max and Miles in this grouping. So there's that. Um, I went ahead and also got the, uh, I don't know the name of these, <laughs> but these are great because they're easily cut out. These are just like the lots of the same sentiments. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Happy Christmas, Seasons Greetings, Happy Holidays from our family to yours. So these would be great to just cut out and be able to put on all kinds of cards. And I think there's four of them. So got that. And like I said, all these things were just kind of on sale. So if I can find them, I'll have a link down below. Um, and then these are the Twinkle Lights by Doodlebug. Because they were so cute. And I did get this Shutter Card Snow Globe add-on. Because I have the Shutter Card. You know I love the Shutter. And I thought this would be fabulous for making Christmas Shutter Cards. Oh, y'all know I love that. And this one goes with it too, basically. Mad the Magic Iris. So that works well with the shutter also. Um, so you can make a giant snow globe. This is an add-on, and these were on sale. $5, oh yeah, see this is already expired. That's how long I've been having these sitting here. <laughs> Haven't had a chance to play. And then I finally got the Let's Toast Pull Tab add-on. I do have this for other companies, but um, I liked that this was for a smaller, even though I know you could adjust it. Uh, I just thought this one had some really neat little elements to it. So there you go. So that is all from Simon Says. And then I have a couple more things. And these ones are from Tailored Expressions. Now keep in mind, uh, with Simon Says Stamp, they're having their Stamp Timber going on right now. And that's awesome. So I'll have, obviously I'll have them linked down below. Um, and Tailored Express is, is having a birthday going on right now, and they're having all kinds of stuff going on with that. Okay, so Tailored Expressions, they're having their birthday party right now, and they have all kinds of new birthday products. I'll have those linked down below, or at least, uh, you know, a link to the shop if that's something you're interested in. But while I was over there shopping a while ago, I got this stamp set. And when I say a while ago, I think I got this like a month and a half ago. Uh, and this one's the Turn Up the Beat. This is not new. I just liked it because I like the sentiments. You've got, it's your birthday, turn up the beat. You're pretty radish. I heart you from my head, tomatoes, <laughs> inner peas. <laughs> you're old, but I don't care at all. Oh, shiitake, you're old. I forgot your birthday. And I did get the matching dies. Now, I've noticed these are usually a little more expensive, but I loved this set so much it was worth it to me. So I bought that, and I just love those little... They're so cute. Red rubber. And then I did get the Misty Clear Alignment Panels. I've always wanted something like this. I know Simon Says Stamp had something similar, but I thought these would be great for lining up sentiments, and they'll work well in both. It includes three clear alignment panels with grid sizes uh, at four and a quarter by five and a half, 
three and a half by six inches and six and a half by eight and a half, and one clear alignment panel without grid sized six and a half by eight and a half. So there's just a clear panel on there, which actually would be nice for stamps like these that you're using so you know exactly where you're stamping it. So that is good. Um, and that's actually all I have to share with you guys today. So I'm gonna be back on Friday and I'm gonna be doing a live. But like I said, you know, family's in town. Next week, I'll be back at the grind for a while. And then my son's coming back again for another two weeks. I know it's weird. But sometimes you just work with whatever the military offers you. So um, that's why I'm in and out. Please don't think that I'm ignoring anybody. And I will be back full force when, when um, family's out of town. But you know how it is. When you have family around, you better savor all the moments. All right. So if you liked this video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And why don't you leave down in the comment section, if you're so inclined, anything that you'd like to see me work with um, first. I'll put that up at the top of the list if we've got a big number of things. And I'll have everything linked down below. Um, but yes, so yeah. I hope you guys have a great week, and I will see you very soon in another video. Bye, everybody.